Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time, thank you for watching. I wanna tell everybody about some shady stuff that's going on behind the scenes and it has to do with law enforcement. And this is one of the reasons, sorry it's echoey in here and this is my room here in Missouri for a couple days. Uh, this has, has everything to do with the reason why people can't stand law enforcement and don't trust them when it comes to protecting our right to keep and bear arms. Now, I'm going to show you a letter from law enforcement who are very upset because there's a bill in Hawaii that's being pitched, it's their Bruin response bill, that Hawaii was so zealous in getting it passed or, or trying to get it passed, that's the process they're in, that it actually bans law enforcement from carrying guns and bringing them into certain locations and more. It's pretty good. Now I mentioned it's the Bruin response bill type that we've seen in all of the anti-gun states. Hawaii will not be any different. Uh, it massively expands gun-free zones, creating sensitive spaces where people cannot carry firearms, creating target-rich environments and where you cannot defend yourself. It also has a, uh, a personal liability insurance requirement where you need to uh, A, get insured of a minimum of $100,000 per person and $300,000 per incident and you must carry said proof of being insured. It also adds uh, the, the uh, private uh, property issue where you can't carry on private property unless uh, you know it's, it's made obvious that you can and has um, the safe storage law requirements worked into it. And it has police looking to get this bill amended, uh, but not amended for you or me, just for them. Check this letter out. This letter is the testimony of the chief of police of Kauai Police, and that's Chief Raybuck. And the chief says, I provide the following testimony regarding House Bill 984 relating to firearms, which seeks to amend and enact requirements and processes related to the possession of carrying firearms. Portions of House Bill 984 appear to inadvertently make it a criminal offense punishable by imprisonment for law enforcement officers to carry a firearm, whether on duty or off duty. I respectfully submit a request for modification of this bill wherein it relates to law enforcement officers included in the exempt categories identified in section 134-11. House Bill 984 prohibits locations firearms can be carried, section 134-A, and how they are to be secured when unattended, 134-D, and prohibitions on private property carry, 134-F. As written, the prohibitions and requirements outlined in the above noted sections of House Bill 984 criminalizes the actions of on-duty and off-duty law enforcement officers alike. House Bill 984 does allow for an affirmative defense for said violations, but that defense is presented at trial after criminal proceedings have initiated. House Bill 984 would force law enforcement officers to knowingly violate the law and risk potential arrest and prosecution or abandon the ability to carry firearms necessary in the performance of their duties and for protection of themselves and others. I respectfully request House Bill 984 sections 134A, 134D, and 134F be amended to not apply to a person that is in an exempt category identified in section 134, 11, 1, 2, and 6 of the Hawaii Revised Statutes. So good for me, but not for thee, please government people change it so we can carry not just the, not these peons just us you know we should be able to protect our lives but they those peons should not clear as black and white from the chief of Kauai uh, if I said the name wrong sorry I don't live in Hawaii people usually will educate me in the comments um, let me know what you guys and gals think and I'll tell you what it's not like this just in Hawaii it's like this everywhere and Maybe the way we can force those people in law enforcement who are not constitutional minded folks, maybe we make them uh, have to follow the same laws that these gun controllers pass for we the people. We the people, guys and gals. Not we the PD. Not we the police. It's we the people. Let me know what you think about this down below. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Sorry about the echo. It's going to be like that for a day or two here. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.